Well, it's doing all right. Biff. Um. Uh, first thing we gotta do when we get caught, we gotta clip that big branch over the house there. I'm afraid it's gonna fall on stone here. Tell you what, we get a, uh, we get a, uh, a rope and sling around here. We climb up there with a couple of saws and take it down. So you finish the call, boys. I want to see you. I got a surprise for you, boys. What do you got, Dad? No, 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 no. You finish first. Never leave a job till you finish. You remember that. Biff? Up in Albany, I saw a beautiful hammock. You know, I think I'll buy it next trip, but we'll hang it right between those two towns there, huh? Wouldn't that be, huh? Wouldn't that be something? Just hanging, just, just swinging there under those, 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 those branches? Oh, boy, that would be something. Comes down, Pat. Professional. Terrific. That's terrific job, boys. Good, good work, Pat. Where's the surprise, Pop? In the back seat of the car. What is it, Pat? Tell me, what you buying? Never mind. Something I want you to have. What is it, Pat? Hey, it's a pension bag. Pat. It's got Jake Tunney's signature on it. How'd you know we wanted a pension bag? Well, it's the finest thing for the time being. I'm losing weight, you notice, Pop? Jumping rope is good, too. Pop, see the new football I got? Where'd you get a new ball? Coach told me to practice my pass. I had so, and he gave you the ball. I don't know about it from the last ah, I want you to return now. See, I told you he wouldn't like it. I'm bringing it back. Sure, he's got to practice with a regulation <laughs> ball, doesn't he? Coach will probably congratulate you on your initiative. Pop, he keeps congratulating my initiative all the time. That's because he likes you. Somebody else took that ball, it'd be an uproar. <laughs> so what's the report? Boys! What's the report? Where'd you go this time, Pop? We were lonesome for Lonesome, huh? Let's see if we met. Don't say. Tell your secret, boys. Don't breathe it to us all. Someday I'll have my own business and I'll never have to leave home anymore. Like Uncle Charlie, huh? Ah, bigger than Uncle Charlie, because Charlie is not like this. He's like, but he's not well liked. And where'd you go this time? Well, I got on the road and I went north to Providence, met the mayor. The mayor of Providence? He was sitting in a hotel lobby. What'd he say? He said, good morning. And I said, oh, you got a fine city here, mayor. And he had coffee with me and then I went to, uh, uh, Waterbury. Waterbury is a fine city, big clock city, the famous Waterbury clock. It's all the nice building. And then Boston, Boston is the cradle of the revolution. Fine city, a couple other towns, and Mass, down to Portland, Bangor, straight home. Love to go with you sometime. Soon as huh? summer comes. You promise? Oh, you and Happen and I, I'll show you all the towns. <laughs> Wow.